be pushed versus versus beating on the people and telling the people what they're not doing right and all this stuff. Cause I don't really preach on sin. I don't do that. I don't think that's. I think that because the scripture says over in Psalm 107 verse 20, the scripture says that He sent His word to heal them and to deliver them. He didn't send preachers to bash folks and to beat them with sin and all that stuff there. But I'm going to show you some uh, things that's in the scriptures to where you will see that the power for you to move forward is already in you, but you have not tapped into it because mainly of the stuff that you've been taught, you've been taught to actually be rubbed with your emotions. And then when the situations that are still there come, you don't have any strength or power to push past those things. And Satan is always waiting on you to leave up out of church. And as a matter of fact, Satan is the first one at the churches. <laughs> you know, the Bible speaks over in uh, Job when, uh, when uh, God, God said that the sons of men was coming to him. And Satan was with them. And God said... Where did you come from? And Satan told him, I was with your people. Mm -hmm. Walking to and from sin, walking to and from. I'm with your people. But they don't know because they really don't have a connection with you. Jesus Christ. I'm going to go to Matthew chapter 14. This is some stuff. And, and this is your message here. If, if you have questions... <laughs> A lot of stuff y'all you probably never done in other churches. But now, if you have questions with this here, you can ask questions while I'm talking, while I'm teaching, while I'm preaching. You can ask questions. Of the power to push forward is in you. And I'm going to be speaking, and this is one of the regular um, situations where Jesus walked on the water. When Jesus walked on the water. And I'm going to start at Matthew chapter 14 verse 22. And I want you to look in your Bibles and look at the wording. Because when you see the wording for yourself you will get an understanding of that you really have been deceived. You really have been deceived on how this thing goes. You really have. And don't worry uh, about the uh, babies and stuff crying. Don't worry about that. That's, see, Satan tries to work, but it doesn't. See, you got to stay focused. You got to stay focused. Verse 22. And straightway Jesus constrained his disciples to get into a ship and to go before him unto the other side while he sent the multitudes away. See, the Bible said that Jesus, Jesus commanded them. Jesus commanded the disciples to go to the other side. Jesus commanded them to go. He didn't ask them to go. See, see, there are some things that's going on in your life that you have been commanded to do. You have been commanded to do. Watch this here. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up into a mountain apart to pray. Now Jesus told them, Jesus sent them to go to the other side. Jesus sent them, he commanded them to go, and he went off to himself to go pray. Ain't, ain't that something? God himself will send you on a mission, and he go somewhere else by himself. And he's sending you off. <laughs> and when the evening was, was come, he was there al alone. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea. Watch this. Tossed with waves for the wind was contrary. Now, now Jesus, God in the flesh, has sent his disciples on the other side. He commanded them to go to the other side. Now he, Jesus, all-knowing, all-knowing, he knew, he knew that the waves was coming. He knew the waves was coming. See, when you are really pursuing God, that's going to be some waves. Mm -hmm. That's going to be some waves coming. When you're pursuing God, there's going to be some waves. 
And God already know that there's going to be some waves. God, because it's the nature of life that when God sends you somewhere, Satan has to move. Amen. Yes. Satan has to move on your life. See, because just like God has a purpose for your life, mm -hmm. Satan mm -hmm. does too. Yes, Lord. Amen. Really, really. And, man, and like I always say, God and Satan has to go by the Bible. So Satan just perverts it. So now, God told the disciples, go on the other side. Go on the other side. Away from all the confusion, go on the other side. But in the midst of you going away from the confusion, there are some real turbulence waiting on you. Amen. But see, I can't tell you that because of if he showed us everything what he want us to see before we go there, most of us wouldn't even go. Jesus, that's good. That's good. So he said, go to the other side. He already know what's there. So he's already in prayer mode for you already, Jesus. He's already in prayer mode because he said that when he sent them, when he commanded them, he went off by himself to pray. He's already in intercession for you. But things are going out of order. Come on, That's the man. God. He's, a, he's always protecting you because he knows what's ahead for you even when you don't. But he's there to protect you because he loves you like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went un until them watch this, walking on the sea. Yes. That's the supernatural. That's mm -hmm. the supernatural. Mm -hmm. See, you have to believe in order for for any power to come in your life as a Christian, you have to believe that God is a supernatural God. The Bible speaks about over in Hebrews 11, 6. You know the scripture. That come we on, come on. Quote all the time come religiously. On. You know, we quote that stuff. But without faith, it is impossible to believe him. For they that come to God, you must believe this. Sir. You must believe that he is. And that he is a rewarder to them that diligently seeks, 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 press forward, seeks him. Not what he can do, but seeks him. And the Bible said that he is a rewarder to those kind of people. He is a rewarder, and reward will be peace. The reward will stop being Jesus. The reward will be prosperity, peace, health, everything you hold. There's nothing missing, nothing Broken because yes. he's a God of abundance. Watch this here. Amen. Watch this here. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a spirit, and they cried out for fear. That's just like a most just like most Christians. You know, they always <laughs> want to uh, quote the scriptures and feel strong. But then when they see God manifest in their life for real, now they want to bind the devil. Amen. <laughs> because they really don't believe. Because they really don't believe. Because that was an episode over in Acts when uh, Peter had had went to jail, and the uh, uh, Christian was praying for Peter uh -huh. to get out of jail, mm -hmm. and they prayed, and the gates yeah. opened, and he got out of jail. Mm -hmm. The same Christian was praying for him when he walked to the door, and knocked on the door, them folks ran. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Because, see, what it shows, you really don't believe what you're saying, no way. Jesus. This is why folks can say, all oh, that famous scripture over in Philippians 4, 13. I can do all the say it. Say it. I can, say it. All, I can do all these things, right? right. 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 Strip this me. Paul can say it. That thing sound good, don't it? Well, one thing to quote it, it's a whole nother realm. <laughs> you can say that stuff all you want to, but boy, Satan waiting on you to try that one. Mm -hmm. Try, try. Let's see him do all things. Now watch what Peter do. But straightway Jesus said unto them, saying, "Be of good cheer. Mm -hmm. It is I. Be not afraid." Mm -hmm. See, this is why he always speaks against fear. Every time somebody come into contact with Jesus, he always have to remind them, "Don't be afraid of me." But see, the mindset that people have. Have not given them the mindset of a relationship with him. This is why you're fearful of him. See, and you cannot trust somebody you don't know. Jesus. So when the turbulence do come, you don't know if it's God, Satan, or just you. Because you don't have a relationship with him. Jesus. So watch this. Here. And Peter 
answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, be it me, come unto thee on the water. Mm -hmm. Now this is the same Peter who mm -hmm. always get himself in trouble by talking so much. Yes. Yes. Always get himself in, in trouble. And this is the same Peter who has some prejudice in him. Mm -hmm. But sometimes, there comes some time, boy, you got to open your mouth. Yes. And this man said, Lord, if that be you. Now, Jesus walking on the water. Now, you got to get this here. Jesus walking on the water. That man said, Lord, if that be you, let me do the same thing you're doing. Let me do that. And imagine now, he told his disciples, you got to read the scriptures to understand this here. Word is everything. He sent his disciples, 12 of them. 12 of them. Now he in the boat with these people. And the winds are contrary. The winds are bolsters, tossing the boat. Now he said, Lord, if that's you, let me do that too. Now you can imagine what the other 11 are telling them. Man, you better stay in this boat because you're safe. Now, y'all got people that's in your life that are telling you, you better go ahead and do what you got to do and don't worry about how this going to happen. No, you better go ahead and take care of that. You talking about tr trusting God. You better go ahead and take care of that. You better go up there to, to a church that's on the third floor. You better watch that. You better get in a church where it's already established. But I'm telling you, <laughs> when you're walking up them third on. floors, there's some up here. God, so you got to come up here to see me. And there's some up here. And when you get to that second floor right there, See, you can start to hear because now you're in the throne room and you start to hear. And then when you hit the third floor, you see, she liberty because see, the Bible said where the spirit of the Lord is. That's liberty. And you're able to walk through and you're able to walk on that water. You're able to walk on your situation. God himself walking on top of the very thing 